Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play European Universalis 4 Quill Korea, Best Korea. We are finishing this war with Jean Ju. We actually finished the war, uh, the, the part of the war with Japan, and take, took a little bit of territory over here, which I think is going to be a really valuable thing for us going forward. Um, and yeah, it's unfortunate they're both Grathland. We, we may build a fort here. Maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But we're going to go and peace out. Exactly 100 peace offer. We're going to vassalize uh, Nivka and then take half of uh, Jeanju over here. Now, we're not going to be able to core all of it. We do have a mission fulfilled right away. What is it? Seize the Borderlands. Oh, nice. Oh, and we get some admin power. And some more permanent claims. Okay, well, the admin will help with some of the coring. Um, what? What's with the sorting? Seems weird. As I say, we'll start with the biggest. Okay, that's as much as we can do. We do have our focus set on admin now. So that's going to be helpful. Uh, we can send you exploring again. Um, there you go. If it's got Pacific in the war name, we'll do it. But yeah, we want to do the Northeast Pacific, but we have to finish that over there. Which is coming along, right? Or, Alouette. I keep doing that. Wrong place. That's only about halfway. It would be nice if we could speed it along, but we do what we can. You do have a high liberty desire, which isn't really a surprise, because we just annexed you. But as long as it's just the one that's not so bad. Actually, what's going on? Yeah, Haishi is still in really good shape. Excellent. And yeah, just start cores as you can start them now, please and thank you. All our troops have been brought together. Let's do a consolidate regime, or regiments. Um, are we still above our, naval, our force limit? Only by two. Tell you what, though. I will go and disband you. Oh, because of the, um, the rebels here. I don't think they'll cross into my territory. Oh, and I'm wondering if I should stay here. Actually, it might not be a bad idea, because I'm going to do is do a little rebel stomping over here. We're going to have to keep our maintenance up, but I guess that's going to have to be okay. But yeah, I'll disband you. So slightly above our, our command limit, but if we finish some of these cores, um, that will improve very quickly. And then I think I'm still okay. Yeah, we're going to go and keep harsh treatment ending over here. We've got, we're have got we so far ahead of time on our military tech. 17 years ahead still. Um, that preventing uprisings over here would be good. We can, I feel, fairly safely bring down our forts. I'm okay with that. Okay, yep, yeah, good. Uh, parallel authority. The reformers, not the sole authority within their cities. So they could gain loyalty, but the scholars would lose. They gain influence, lose. That actually is probably the best choice. Yeah, because that if I do this, the scholars get really influential. So we'll sign with the Neo Confucianists over here. I think that's going to be okay. Wow, they're up to 10 power points per year now as part of their demand. Because I think it's based on our um, our total development. It's starting to get pretty expensive there, Ming. Could you just... Hmm, Separatist. Could you just explode? Maybe I should send some spies over there and start supporting rebels. That might be... Let's just focus on seas for now. I don't know. Keep probably doing it in order. That might be the power move, though. How's our inflation? Okay. I mean, I can't drop it right now because I still have to core things. Boom. So, a few more months. We'll start the last core. We don't have to babysit that anymore. Um, we have too many military leaders, huh? That's just going to have to be. Uh, the first purges. Now, we do have a mission that requires for us to have completed the third purge. So I guess it's just timed events. 
So while Severing is a third censor in 1515, the Neo-Confucianist Kim Il-Son, a former state historian, proved himself to be a man willing to go to great lengths in criticizing government officials and the Yangbang elite. Many opponents have uncovered certain illusions that made his draft the annals of the King of Sanjong, which they insist to be treasonous. They demand his immediate execution and supporters among the Neo-Confucians neither banished or executed. Okay, lose 90 power and loyalties change. Lose 90 power and various loyalties change. Loses stability, which from plus one to plus two is like 150 uh, minus our various discounts. But really, one point of stability we can think of as a base of 100. And I think we've got various discounts. Right now, it would be more expensive. So I think losing the stability is effectively the most costly. And it's just everyone loses loyalty. This makes it so that the reformers gain loyalty and influence, which would bring them to 96. I think we might execute him. Um, which would bring the, the administrators to 93. But yeah, I think it's the way to go. Okay. At least for us right now. Right, negative admin. Well, they're pretty shitty. All right. Is this all our permanent claims? Wow. Yeah, could you please break up? I'm tired of you. Very tired of you. I cannot harsh treatment these guys, unfortunately. Um. Hmm. I think the thing to do is to increase the autonomy here and here and bring these guys home. Yeah. That is the thing to do. Then we can have them rebel busting over here or even just let the uprising happen. I don't think we have any choice. I think the uprising is going to happen regardless. Is my extension dangerously high? Yeah, it is pretty high. More loans. Not the end of it. Political capital. Protection of powerful empire. Okay, so gain legitimacy and make the administrators happy. Gain a stability and make the scholars happy. I will gain a stability. Easily. Please, thank you. Yeah, just go back to hitting the top thing. Doesn't matter. I, I think I prefer to do the seas first in this case because they're not coast I'm interested in. But I think that's fine. Ming with the 10 pointer. Okay, you're here. Is there where I could go to get more force limit? Supply limit? 28. I guess we sort of have to split you regardless. Here, I'll do it that way. It's winter. That's not going to help. Uh, you are going to do rebel suppression. Hell, you've got rebel problems too. But I'm going to focus on my own territory over here. That's going to have to be okay. All right. Light ships split off. And um, protect trade in here. Do I want to mothball these guys? I'm not sure that I do. I mean, we've got truces going on. Yeah, okay, I'll mothball you for now. Okay, and if these separatists want to pop... Um, actually, maybe what I'll do is I'll raise the castle over here. Because I don't want them to instantly go and claim that fort. And then we have to siege it. Save her from the unhappy marriage, make her an advisor. Half price level 2 advisor. I don't think we can afford that. Yearly prestige. That is nice. I mean, we're pretty high up on prestige. But it is, you know, there's natural decay. So, new world charters. How are we doing with our colony? 667. Ah! Must go faster. How are we on naval force limit? No, we can't. It won't show us right now because we don't have the money. There's a revolt, and we have a disagree advisor. Lose some prestige, gain some points, or he dies. I guess we'll take a prestige hit. Um, Alright, yeah, cancel the automatic suppression. I mean, we're going to win there anyway, but what we want to do is we want to merge with these guys. I think we'll get the 10 years of separatism there. Not really much we can do about it. Um, I'll do a consolidate here, because we're still over our force limit, and we don't have much manpower. Oh, Northeast Pacific. Oh, maybe we raised our tech level and all of a sudden we have access over here. 
That's possible. Down the attrition, big loan, and done. So, to confirm. No, no, still over a force limit. Seriously. There. Uh, maybe I was. No, 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 no. We're fine now. Um. Let's drop this. There you go. We'll repay loans. We don't have very many loans. Oh, no, we do have eight. Yeah. All right, let's repay that shit. Um, some of it might ha end up having to be renewed. I'm betting we're, we're on the cusp of doing an inflation decrease here, which isn't too bad at all. Still, yeah, we still probably do something here. Let's just get another claim going. And then I can probably stop building Spy Network. That's going to be okay. Relationship-wise, we're, uh, we're at three of four. <sighs> Stupid tribute. I mean, I could just start refusing, I guess. That doesn't break the tributary, although I think it might give them a, a, a CB against me. So I could analyze these guys and then help them uh, have them help me against Tongo. What else we got? Yeah, maybe these guys. Sure. I like it. Holy wars against me. Yeah, but you know there'll be there'll be some some things going on there. You can't marry at all because your government form. Oh, you're republic. Really? All right, we'll just improve relations with you for now. That's going to be fine. And are you still disloyal? Yeah, but dropping fairly quickly. And I have positive prestige. I could go and placate lo local rulers a couple times. I don't think we have to do that. Excellent. Cores are coring. Very useful. And more exploration as well, which should include Northeast Pacific Coast. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, you had to renew that loan. Yeah, there'll still be a fair amount of that. But the money's gotten a lot better. Oh, we can probably go and mothball all the forts now. Because that rebellion risk is gone. Um, we could build. I think paying off the loans is probably the highest priority, though. I guess our money was being hammered as well because of our corruption. That we were paying off pretty aggressively. Uh, done. One of these guys. Got more separatists over here. Oh, maybe. Actually, hold on. Right, these guys are still cranky. Can we make a good state? Yes, uh, we can make a few decent states. This one. I guess that's it. Yeah, we have no significant numbers of anything, but we do have one full state. Uh, let's go and bring up the army maintenance. Yeah, we'll just gain the prestige. We don't care about the ferocity. There's the revolt there. Okay, and luckily we did bring up the fort. Just in time, actually. Alright, let's go. They'll be defending, or they'll be the attacker in the mountains. So that's going to be an easy stop, plus the rebels aren't very strong. And we'll move over there. And more exploration. Can we do more um, Pacific? No, not really. Okay. But we've got the east coast or the west coast of Canada. I'm not going to start a second colonist right now because we still want to pay off some taxes. So hey, there is more rebel uprisings threatening up over here. We got a 30 supply limit. Mm. That's a lot of national unrest. Yeah, I'm not going to take the National Arrest. We've got Prestige to spare, so we'll do that. They're claiming Aki. More inflation from renewed loans. Oops. There we go. Accept. And you're almost not disloyal. Lovely. 
and we're going to annex you. Or this might be a good opportunity to annex Haishi. Like, we don't want to use up all the relationship slots with vassals, especially ones that don't bring much to the table. Uh, yeah, we need to keep you around. Inflation reduction. Might be worthwhile, because we're going to be renewing a few more. I mean, we're still going to do the pay down. But let's grab you now. Yeah, I'll pay this down now. Which will seem a little silly, but there's no way we don't renew another loan shortly. So he'll, he'll help us um, offset that. Okay, it's not power. Yeah, we'll say yes for now. That's going to be okay. What kind of espionage stuff could we do against him? Support rebels. Well, we got our own rebels, but only for now. Let's see. Yeah, stupid separatism, but at least that's the end of it for a little while. Um, flute, war galleys. Ooh, global settler increase. Where does it show the... There we go. So if we have this plus um, innovative, what does that actually unlock? Nothing? Oh. Uh, global trade power. 5% settler chance with benign, benign neglect. Oh, the settler increase is probably a little bit more important. Maybe I'll just save up for the tech while the institution cost is still semi-manageable. Yeah, we don't need the, the Rebel Suppression anymore. And we don't need any of our castles up. Any of our forts up. Excellent. And then state-wise... Ooh, there we go. Niguta. Excellent. Is four of five. And South Ilinhala is five of five. Fantastic. Okay. Getting those states online. That is actually a huge step forward. Now, there's still going to be tons of autonomy over there, but that's okay. Um, I don't remember, do we have a national modifier for autonomy decrease? I felt like we had something that triggered maybe, but maybe that was a while ago. All right, everyone's busy. Except our missionary, but we only have one place to missionary and... Ah, uh, it's not true! Now, here's the thing. What if we harmonized with the pagan group? Instead of converting to Tengri. When harmonized, I mean, to fix our national unrest... Or, our unity and give us a permanent decrease to national unrest? Oh, that would be really good. Uh, 53. Oh, that takes a long time. It lowers harmony while it's running. I think it's worth it. Assuming it doesn't replace the previous one, if we can just keep adding more harmonized religions, that would be okay. And probably well worth the investment. Scientific revolution. Tech cost... Uh, I guess we'll take the Diplo, because that's the next one that we're going to get. We know we're going to get that one, so what the heck, right? So, I mean... Oh, we can Royal Marry you, so let's do that. Anyway, yeah, we shouldn't have any problems annexing you later on. Yeah, that's literally all my money. Hmm. You have no rivals. We'd need some big ally... I can ally with the Oriot? You are a tributary of Ming. Oh, 
I mean, yeah, sure. Right? Probably? Yeah, we want too many relationships. Um, well, that's okay. It'll get resolved when we annex someone. Which is probably all we're looking for. Oh, let's drop the army maintenance now. My bad. I would like to start drilling, but not yet. Trade him city, diplo power, or a shit ton of ducats. It would help us get rid of our loans a little faster. On the other hand, I mean, the trade efficiency... We don't make that much from trade. I'm not sure how much the trade efficiency would matter right now. I think we take a shit ton of ducats. And we actually do consider maybe constructing if there's a high value construction. Not really right now. So it'll probably just go towards loans. Done, done. Expiration and... Okay, I wasn't sure if it was going to come up again. It's like, is, can we keep researching? Ooh, insults coming in. Fine. Yeah, I don't know if we need tech. Like, if we want to support rebels, yeah, we need 60. So discontent. Our rep. Yeah, I wonder, huh? They're our liege. I was going to say, can I start a war with them? Yeah. I can, apparently, despite being a tributary. I suspect leaving them as tributary might give us a bit of a temporary truce or something. I don't know. I mean, that wouldn't make sense, because wouldn't they be able to maybe just still attack me right away? So maybe don't get a truce. Um, speaking of spies, though. Yeah, let's keep spying over here. And we can maybe claim a little bit more territory around here. Yeah, we're going to take the Diplo Tech, which does give us the Settler Growth Increase, which is really good. And that might be the last tech for a while. Barring military, which keeps being a problem because we don't have the military ideas. More exploration. Alright. So, yeah, since Alouette's done, and it's close. It'd be great if we can get more. And when that finishes, we actually might have a little bit more exploration, but... Trade League of Hormuz left. Sure, fine. Now, the California trade node is probably not... Yeah, 0.3 gold. It's not very valuable right now. The Mexican trade node is probably a lot more valuable. The sooner we can colonize there, a beloved heir dies. How beloved was he? He was a 10-pointer. He's pretty beloved. Arms of the Lord. So he'll die, and I'll get a temple. Or 2-2-2 two, two, two with a weak claim. You know what? Arms of the Lord. Let's hope we live long enough to get a half-decent heir. We're only 30, which is good. Uh, we were never turned into a general, right? That is correct. Okay, so theoretically we should be fine. Cancel tributary. Now, mandate current empire below 50. Devastated provinces, corruption of the state. If he loses tributaries, he'll also be, he'll lose a little bit of stuff. There's got to be a way to target China. You get them to lose a mandate of heaven. They got some peasants causing some trouble. And they still have a decent amount of troops. Ming Sphere. Gain prestige, gain legitimacy. Um, I don't really care about friendship with either one of these. So we'll take the prestige for now. Legitimacy is going up on its own. So it's fine. Um, monthly war exhaustion. Advisor, yeah. No, let's let's go to finish this. Hmm. Colony is self-sustaining. Excellent. So right now, if we were to look at colonial map mode. Okay, so even if we discovered more of Mexico, we can't reach there. The most we can reach is Papai, which is only a three, and it's arid, which makes it slower. 
arid. Okay, you're not arid here. It's only a four. You're a ten? And a natural harbor? And we can expand, expel some majority. Uh, minority. I will say this. If we went and embraced the Jurchen minority, I believe we could flip, culture flip to like Manchu. Like, we could create a cool nation. But whatever. Korea's cool, man. We're going to be Korea. It's going to be fine. Um, yeah, let's expel some minorities. I mean, we could just go and embrace them as well. That's actually a high percentage. We probably should have to do that. Uh, ooh, because I'm an entrepreneur. Double improvements. Sounds great. But yeah, I bet you we've got a lot more exploration we can do now. Yeah, Northeast Pacific. But the new world is ours. At least from this half of things. And we've been bigging ourselves. Uh, we've got rebels. That would be unrest and manpower or autonomy. I'll just bickle. You know what? We'll give them the autonomy. It's fine. Who cares? That's starting to be a lot of rebels there. Ning separatists? Min separatists? Shu separatists. Well, well, well. Ming. Well, 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 China. Ah, uh, oh, we got caught. Although over here, you can fabricate some claims. How do you have no rivals? You're just too strong compared to everyone else? And you're vassal of the Orient, who we're friends with. Here, just for whatever, I'm going to make friends with you as well, in case some stuff starts to break. Maybe a little bit more. Make some friends with some tributaries over there because when Ming shatters, I don't know what's going to happen to the trade of the tributary, the state of the tributaries. Okay. Is now the time for us to break the tribute? Because it would. And they're at 81, which is pretty high. Because it would just pull away some of the points over here. They're weak right now. <clears throat> I mean, still stronger than me, obviously. Although with my alliance web. I don't know what happened with the tributary. You wouldn't go to war against Ming. Yeah, that's the thing. It's great that this is happening, but as long as you're a tributary of Ming, Liberty Desires 11%. Maybe when they shatter the leave, yeah, because I don't think they'll they'll fight against their overlord on my side. At least for now. Although if I leave, I could probably start doing stuff like supporting independence and things. Well, only if they're disloyal. Hmm. Cancel tributary. Might be able to get my own tributes. I don't know if that would be particularly worthwhile, but it's probably something that's possible. We're going to put a cut in here. Ming. I don't know, man. I think I'm coming for you. 9910. Same tech as me, basically. Obviously, you have a lot more forces. Like, let's not kid around. Ming's got 78,000 active troops. No manpower right now. And a frack ton of rebels. It'd be great if these were separatists here. Huh. I don't know what this means. Well, we'll have to find out next time. Folks, thanks for watching. I'm going to see you then. Bye-bye.